Using Harry's Jeep, Harry and Ruth set out on a camping adventure into the mountains. Along the way, they stopped for a meal at a roadside restaurant. There, a curious child noticed a mysterious beam and expressed his questions about it. Despite the child's curiosity, the two preferred to ignore the question and continue their journey to the end of the trail. During the trip, Ruth experiences severe anxiety, having her mind overwhelmed by thoughts of their trip. However, Harry managed to reassure her that everything would be fine. Harry's soothing words managed to calm Ruth's anxiety, causing her to agree to continue the affair. The couple ventured into a dense forest and eventually set up camp. Harry stepped into the role of cook while Ruth struggled to set up the tent. During the evening, Ruth left the tent to take a short walk. Sensing a strange presence, she illuminated the area with her flashlight, revealing a deer. Harry appeared behind her, explaining that it turned out to be just a deer. This unexpected encounter brought a touch of wonder and amusement to their camping experience. The next morning, their hike continues as they push forward to reach the mountaintop. Upon arrival, the panoramic view of the ocean unfolds before them, leaving Ruth utterly captivated and breathless. Filled with happiness at Ruth's awestruck reaction, Harry seizes the moment to declare his love and present a ring, proposing marriage. However, the sudden proposal overwhelms Ruth, triggering a panic attack. She teeters dangerously close to the edge of the cliff, struggling to maintain her balance. Just in the nick of time, Harry rushes to her rescue, preventing a potentially tragic fall. Once Ruth regains her composure, she offers her heartfelt apologies, but ultimately decides to decline his proposal. Heartbroken, Harry gives her some space. Later, Ruth tries to broach the subject of the proposal, but Harry avoids the topic. A frustrated Ruth confronts him, pointing out that the proposal was not what she had in mind and that they had discussed it previously. Harry justifies his actions by expressing his fear of pushing her away when they first met, believing that enough time had passed for her to consider marriage. Ruth disagrees, igniting a heated argument. In the midst of their disagreement, Ruth reaches a breaking point and tells Harry to be quiet. The next morning, Ruth wakes up to find a note from Harry, explaining that he went for a walk to clear his head. She tries to call her therapist, but gets no signal. Ruth wanders through the forest in search of reception, stumbling upon a mutilated deer covered in a mysterious black substance. Disgusted and terrified, she tries to leave, but unexpectedly encounters Harry, who helps calm her down. Later that night, Harry comforts Ruth and apologizes for everything. Ruth expresses her love for him, and they reconcile with a tender kiss. The following morning, as they wake up, Harry prepares breakfast while Ruth mentions her intention to take a stroll. While exploring, Ruth comes across a cave containing a glowing blue substance. Curious, she prods it with a stick. After hearing a noise behind her, she turns around and screams at an unknown sight. Harry becomes increasingly concerned when Ruth doesn't return for an extended period and leaves the campsite to search for her. He eventually finds her outside the tent, holding a pocket knife, claiming she hurt an animal. They return to the tent, but Ruth remains wide awake throughout the night. The next morning, Ruth sits in silence on a log as Harry discusses his potential promotion to vice principal at the school where he works, receiving no response from Ruth. Ruth eventually apologizes for her peculiar behavior the previous night, confessing to Harry that she was mistaken and is now willing to marry him. She asks him to propose to her once more, making it feel like the first time. Harry agrees and takes her to the hill overlooking the ocean, where he kneels and proposes again. This time, Ruth accepts. Suddenly, Ruth kicks Harry and shoves him off the cliffs. Harry tumbles onto a rocky ledge below. Ruth attempts to make her escape, but after hours of running, she grows dizzy and collapses, hitting her head. When Ruth regains consciousness, she encounters another hiking couple, Rye and Vivian, who express concern for her. They provide her with water and inquire about what happened. Ruth, however, claims to have no recollection. Ruth refuses to answer their questions, and Vivian shifts the conversation, asking about Ruth's hobbies. Ruth mentions surfing, and Vivian and Rye reveal their shared interest. They talk about the abundance of sharks in the nearby ocean, causing Ruth to pick up a nearby knife, which alarms the couple. Ultimately, Ruth drops the knife. As they converse, they hear a noise and turn to find Harry approaching. Ruth is terrified to see him alive. She informs the couple that it's Harry, and then she runs away. Rye tries to stop Harry's advance, but Harry ignores his warnings and comes closer. Rye attempts to punch Harry, but his hand is cut off. 
Harry mockingly thanks Rye for finding Ruth and proceeds to mutilate Rye's body. Meanwhile, Ruth and Vivian keep running, with Vivian assuming that Harry was Ruth's abusive boyfriend. Ruth clarifies that the creature isn't truly Harry. Vivian and Ruth go their separate ways. Vivian investigates and discovers Rye's mutilated corpse with Harry lurking nearby. Vivian confronts Harry and he injures her, calling out to Ruth. Ruth emerges from her hiding spot, but Harry kills Vivian despite his earlier promise not to harm her. Ruth refuses to be with him, insisting that the being before her isn't Harry. She recounts her discovery in the cave, where she found Harry's mutilated body. Ruth confronts the imposter and questions him about the impending alien invasion. The alien, posing as Harry, reveals that he is a scout who arrived on Earth first and is reporting to others for the upcoming invasion. The alien is regret for disclosing this information and attempts to kill Ruth. However, because the alien has absorbed all of Harry's memories and emotions, he experiences love for Ruth. Despite multiple attempts to kill her, he cannot follow through due to the genuine love Harry had for her. While the alien momentarily turns away in confusion, Ruth seizes the opportunity to escape. The alien pursues Ruth, insisting that she need not fear him, as he is biologically identical to Harry. He shares that this is his first experience with love, which has now become integrated into his system. The alien leads Ruth to the beach, where he reveals a spaceship and offers to take her away, preventing her from suffering at the hands of the invading aliens. Ruth consents and allows the alien to kiss her. When the alien turns away, she retrieves a pocket knife from his pocket and stabs him. Realizing that she cannot kill him this way, Ruth lures the alien into shark-infested waters. As the alien swims after her, a shark drawn to his bleeding wound attacks him, giving Ruth the chance to escape. Ruth returns to Ray and Vivian's campsite, where she consumes the food they left behind. Suddenly, Harry reappears, attacking her with his tentacle. It turns out he survived the shark encounter. The alien tries to persuade Ruth to be with him, but she rejects him. Harry, enraged by her rejection, knocks her unconscious and takes her to the same cave where the real Harry met his demise. Inside the cave, the alien, posing as Ruth, traps her in a cocoon. Ruth watches as he transforms from Harry into her own likeness, absorbing her memories, anxiety, and pain. In a panic, Ruth induces an anxiety attack in the alien, a sensation he has never encountered before. Struggling to breathe, the alien cannot harm her. Ruth manages to free herself by picking up a heavy rock and repeatedly hitting the alien's head. She pulls the keys from his pocket and jumps back into Harry's jeep. She hears the alien's voice over the radio as she speeds away from the path. The alien claims to have tried to save her and warns of the impending alien invasion, taunting her with the fact that he knows everything about her. As Ruth speeds away, more red beams of light descend on Earth, confirming the alien's prediction of an impending invasion.